So, you have exams coming up, and right now you're panicking, caffeinating, crying, procrastinating, and clearly scrolling on YouTube since you're here. Alas, do not fear, for in this video, I will show you a simple but comprehensive exam day routine and game plan that I myself use to get straight A's all throughout middle, high school, and college, score in the top 1% of the SAT and ACT, get fives on over 10 AP exams, okay, you get the idea. So let's get down to business and defeat those exams. So let's start with the evening before the exam, since it can make a huge difference. First off, a lot of you guys asked how to stop getting distracted during exam season, and so at least several days before my exam, I actually delete all the social media apps on my phone, and when I'm studying, I put my phone into airplane mode so that I don't have any distractions from text messages or notifications. Also, instead of going onto YouTube to find study with me's during exam season, what I like to do is either embed my favorite study with me's into my Notion so that I don't have to see all the videos on the side that could easily distract me or I just use a website like I miss my library where I just have some background noise playing but there's no other videos showing and there's no other distractions and already usually the day before I actually don't listen to any music I just like to study in silence or even use like an ASMR schoolroom background noise or like I miss my library because I actually want to emulate the environment of the exam and pretend like I'm already taking the exam so the evening before the exam I also go over my checklist for all the things that I need to bring specific for the exam and I usually make a digital one so that I can just reuse it every single time. So I go through my checklist and I make sure that I have everything already set up on my desk. At that point I will sharpen my pencils, I will fill my mechanical pencils with lead if I'm using a mechanical pencil, I'll make sure that all of the pens that I bring work, that the calculator is charged and also if I'm taking the test in a certain testing center I'll make sure to write down the location of the testing center and also use the maps app to estimate how long it will take and maybe add an extra 10 to 15 minutes for morning traffic. I also prepare any snacks for the breaks if there are breaks allowed or just a snack right before the exam. So now that I have everything gathered, I pack my backpack with all the stuff. So I also set up my outfit for the next day and usually I just wear some really comfortable jeans and then either a sweater or a t-shirt with a jacket on top since usually it's cold in the room, but obviously it depends. So I actually recommend overall wearing layers just in case the room is hotter than expected. Okay, so now that I have fully prepped for the next day, I'm actually studying now for the exam and I am one of those people who likes to study until the last minute. I know some people recommend against it, but honestly, it just works for me and I've been doing it my whole life basically. And so usually that evening, what I do is I reread my notes that I already have and my exam summary pages, which I've discussed in previous videos if you wanna check them out in the description or here. But if it happens to to be that there is a chapter that I have not gone over yet and it's the night before the exam, at the very least I will read through the outline of the chapter at the end of the textbook and do the practice questions there. And if I have at least a few hours, I'll then read through the entire chapter and take minimal notes on it so I can review the following morning. So the main thing that I like to do though the night before is to actually do practice questions or practice tests if I can. If I don't have access to practice questions, I'll just make up questions from my own notes or go over old questions quizzes if I have access to them. But what I like to do is I like to specifically practice with a timer for time pressure to match the time amount and the questions that I have for the actual exam. And this really helps because one of my, and I think a lot of you guys' biggest problems is just making simple errors because we rushed through questions. And that basically happens because there's two systems in our brain. System one is just our intuitive and instinctive part of our brain. And it basically makes rapid judgments and is more of a subconscious process while system two is more of our conscious brain and our executive function and basically where we make decisions, have rational thoughts and beliefs. So just look at this question here for a second and quickly read through it. So the price that probably first came to your mind was 10 cents, and that's because of our intuitive and automatic system one. So if you actually take a minute to reread the question and do the math, you can see that the correct answer is five seconds. And so that's why we have to consciously remember that we are probably going to try to rush through questions and maybe make them simpler than they actually are. And so a great way to combat that is to read the question twice and also circle keywords and underline key parts and really make sure 
sure that you've double checked the question. And actually, I didn't come up with these concepts on my own. They're from a really insightful book called Thinking Fast and Slow, which I'd always heard about but never got around to actually reading until I found it on Blinkist and listened to the Blinks. Blinkist is amazing because it breaks down over 6,500 non-fiction books and podcasts into bite-sized Blinks, which are basically summaries of the most important points of the book and can be read or listened to in just 15 minutes. We're probably in a state of what psychologists call flow. So if you're not sure that you actually want to spend your money and buy a certain book, or if you just don't have the time to sit down and read the entire thing, you can either read the blinks or listen to them while you're driving to or from school or work, doing chores, etc. I even found one of my favorite books, The 12 Week Year, on Blinkist and used their blinks to refresh the main ideas before I made my planning video a few weeks ago talking about The 12 Week Year. Blinkist also has spaces which allows you to add and share your favorite titles from the Blinkist library with your family and friends, or like I I am with you guys in the study to success book club space and if you join a space you can access all the books in there even if you don't have a Blinkist premium subscription and since Blinkist is kindly sponsoring this video you can get 25% off Blinkist annual premium start your seven day trial by clicking the link in the description box Okay, so I also avoid caffeine in the evening so that I can have a good night's rest since caffeine does wake me up a lot. And I also try my best to go to sleep early to get good rest and also wake up early the next day. Okay, so now it's exam day. So I try to wake up at least two hours before the exam to give myself time to really wake myself up and also review a little more. And so the way I wake myself up is the first thing I do is like two minutes of just jumping jacks or jump rope or some kind of stretching and just waking my body up because studies show that exercising actually does release certain hormones that really help us wake up. I also like to usually do a five minute hot and cold shower because it also really wakes you up. And then after that, I'll have a very quick breakfast and I always avoid anything that's too sugary or with processed carbs because I don't wanna have a sugar crash during the exam. I also delay my caffeine intake in the morning if I am drinking caffeine. And if you aren't drinking caffeine, then just don't drink caffeine, like don't change up your routine right now. But I usually take it like an hour before the exam so that it has enough time to enter my bloodstream but I'm not crashing during the exam. So in the morning I'm just reviewing my exam summary pages and also the questions that I missed on my practice exam or practice questions the previous night and I'm also going over any formulas or key dates or anything specific I want to remember for the exam. Okay so now I'm actually at the exam so the first thing I do is write any formulas or key dates that I remember onto a blank space on the paper. Next, what I like to do is I quickly skim through the exam for just a couple minutes and just see how many questions there are and also just the types of questions so that I can prime my brain to solve them later. I then try to remove 10 minutes from the amount of time of the exam so that I have at least 10 minutes at the end to double check my answers, to double check the bubbling, to make sure that I chose everything correctly. And so then I try to work with the time that I have remaining. So as I'm going through the exam, I first answer all of the easiest questions to get those easy points and I just guess on all the other questions and I'll also flag the medium difficulty ones or put a star next to them so I know that they're medium difficulty and then I circle the ones that are really hard and I honestly feel like I don't really know how to answer so then once I've gone through all the easiest questions I then go over the medium ones and I do all the star questions and then once I've done all the star questions I go over all the circle questions or the hard questions and so for the questions that I absolutely don't know how to answer I have a whole video going over testing strategies to maximize your guesses so be sure to check that out i'm not going to go over all the guessing strategies here but yeah for the circle questions that i absolutely don't know how to answer i just guess the best that i can and try to use the process of elimination to find the most logical answer and at the end once i've gone through all the questions and guessed on all the ones i didn't have any idea how to do i then double check that my bubbling matches or that i chose the correct answer choice that matched what i chose and i do this until the very last minute i have never once submitted an exam early. I always just keep checking over and over to make sure that there are no errors or no silly mistakes. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I'm wishing you the best of luck on your exams. And don't forget you can get 25% off Blinkist annual premium. Start your seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description box.